Hello everyone, welcome back. It is November 17th, and my recording messed up so badly that hey. OBS crashed. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, <laughs> I had to redo this day, meaning that um, I showed the beginning part just in case. It looks like that it randomly so that it already selects the things for you before you actually um uh, before it actually gives them to you. So, uh, so uh, Larpedia. Hmm? Nice. Teaching me about flowers, so I can work at the uh, oh. uh, flowering job slightly better. You have gained newfound knowledge over the language of flowers. You'll now be able to see a greater detail of flowers' explanation while working a, as a florist. Okay, so because it messed up, I didn't show it. Once again, I'm going to show the uh, achievement I got. Bookworm. I have now read every single book. <laughs> that is... That's a lot of books. Uh, I just thought I'd share that with you since the recording messed up. Today we're going over. Now then, please open your textbook. Today we'll be learning about trigonometric functions. Sine, cosine, tangent. This is what a lot of people are able to keep up with. Why would you panic just from seeing a graph? I don't get it. A complicated formula gets condensed down to a single line. Isn't that simple and elegant? All of them have distinctive shapes that simulate the imagination. Now then, here's the sign. Look at the graph. Eh, I wasn't paying attention. Give me an answer. Which of these is called the Corloid after its resemblance to a snail? Is this like a golden ratio thing? Because I'm still on a, I'm still on part six of Judith's Adventure. Uh, eh, probably not A because I don't even know how you could start that function? If you can actually make that on a graph, that's weird, but like, hey, I believe it's this one because it was- because it, um, spirals outwards. This is it. Precisely. An Archimedean spiral. Okay, I'm gonna need to look that up. Uh... Archimedean spiral it is a spiral with a polar equation where the radius distance is the polar angle and is a constant which determines how tightly the spiral is wrapped. Oh, okay. So, oh, I see. I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, I guess we would actually need a uh, an equation of how to make perfect spirals. It's supposed to really, um, suppose it's really the snail's shell that it resembles. Likewise, D is what you call a devil's curve, because it looks like a Chinese yo-yo called a diabolo. You know, I I was I was making a joke about Jared's bizarre adventure, but that was like one word that was like one letter off. <laughs> From a character from part five, and now, and now I'm kind of, oh my gosh! I just realized that Limacon of Pascal. Okay, it's not directly related to the Devils, by the way. Okay. Nice going. This is that all of those are actual functions that you can just put into a calculator, apparently. Some people think of math as an enemy, like a devil, but there is enough research in, that suggests that people who excel at math have higher incomes. If you're shooting for a high salary, sometimes you need to be willing to fight demons. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like fighting demons would be easier than trying to understand graphs like that. We're gonna... Math isn't hard, just complicated. It takes a lot of brain power, and I don't think the, and I don't think, um, 
the chubby hamster in, um, in the pit of my brain can keep up with it. <laughs> what, hey? Oh, whoops, still on, uh, still with all the math pulled up. Okay. Uh, we need to speak to Chihaya again because uh, hanging out with her Fumi is way too much work. And paying Chihaya to do it for us is way better. Oh, I'm out of soda. Well, I would say this what the soda was for this session, but I ran out of it before uh, I could mention it. Oh well. Let's... Uh, Shinjuku. Her? Um, what shall we do? Have fortune red. Here we go. Hmm. 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 Thanks, Jahai. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was held to... Oh, Youngin. I'll just add this. Okay. Tomorrow... Tomorrow, you send the calling card. I'm fairly excited. Yo. I'm gonna wait for a scheduled day now. Hi, you're free, right? Something I really wanted to talk to you about. It'd be awesome if you'd make time for me. Yeah, sure. Yep. Okay. Let's go to your room then. So I emailed Kanachan. Believe it or not, she replied. We even ended up talking on the phone about elementary school. She said that the only reason she got mad at me was because of her diary because she was so embarrassed. Apparently, she thought I would hate her if I knew about her secret, so she ran away. I guess me and her are pretty much the same after all. Long story short, we made up, and I finally apologized to her. Huh, that's nice. Really? I'm surprised you're so excited about it, but I'm glad. Well, I guess I was like, man, I'm excited for you. <laughs> How was it word? That's incredible. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I was like, but it was like, because I'm, I'm the way I am, I would just respond with, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's too far to actually visit each other. So we've been sending emails back and forth. We even made a promise recently to go to both go to high school next year. You know, there's no way I could have been able to call her and apologize before. <laughs> it's all because of um, all because of you that I can do it, Akra. I mean, you worked hard, really too. You were the first one to reach level 99, after all. Uh, if you don't know why she's the first one to reach level 99, is because she is always in the party. And she's always getting maximum XP. Um, and when we jumped in to her dungeon, she was slightly above us. Uh, she was slightly above me in level, so by the time that I would reach level 99, 
she had already reached level 99. Guess you're right. It's kind of embarrassing to actually hear you say it, though. Oh, I almost forgot. Kind of, John was really surprised that Phantom Thieves listened to her request. She'll never learn the truth of the matter, though. <laughs> Finally finished that promise. Get along with Kana-chan. Um, this is really important, so I'm going to say it again. Thanks. Thank you, Akra. Wait a second. I never even said it the first time. I guess that means I'm going to have to say it again now. Thank you, Akra. Seriously. Yeah. Um, is it okay if I ask you for a favor really quick? I mean, I just finished a super old promise. So, um, can you pat me on the head? Mom used to do it when she was happy with me. Just pat, pat. Can you do it? Fine, I, I, I guess. Alright, All right, bring it on. Ugh. Ah. Ah, uh, it's totally different than how my mom used to do it. My heart, my face, ah, uh, they're on fire. Okay, calm down. <laughs> ah, looks like the strange outburst is finally over. My heart's still beating real hard, but I'm totally good now. Sorry for making you worry. I just remembered I still have one more promise to do. Be okay without you around. Can I really do this? Is that really possible? I'll find out some other day. Excuse me. Peace out. Okay. That was awkward. Well then. Tomorrow's the day. Once you send the calling because there's no turning back, make sure you finish preparations tonight. Well, technically it's preparations tomorrow night, but hey. I finished all the books in the entire game. Uh, I reached level 99. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be making the rest of the items. With the House of Representatives resolved, each party has begun preparing for the next election. Topics of safety, particularly how to deal with the Phantom Thieves, are receiving a lot of attention. The key to winning the election will likely be how parties address this challenge. Are they going to just be using us as scapegoats all the way? They just do whatever serves their interests, don't they? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like politicians. Okay. There was basically nothing left for us to do for like a week. Uh, we are actively at the end of our rope. So. Let's just play a video game. Uh, we still got Train of Life. Uh, we need to play that one more time after this. Okay. I can't remember how you play this. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let's start up Train of Life. Should we use the trait? Should we... Use the trick, it lets you roll the dice more times than normal. And it's not about frustration, it's the fact I want to actually finish the game. I'm next to the intermediate course. Awesome, we're starting off well. We have a good amount of money too. The intermediate course is looking pretty simple. Wait, there's something rising out of the ground, is that a gate? Can't pass through. Snap snap, I'm the alligator who watches over this gate. Since why they call me the alligator? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> nope. Mm, no, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I, I'm gonna just... Wait. I'm gonna just uh, use this time to take a simple screenshot. Okay, there we go. No, none, none there. I don't want it mixing with the uh, thumbnails. I might accidentally lose it. Uh, 
capture five. Okay. I'm gonna just uh, unceremoniously, as I'm recording, just send that over to CB. has yeah immense has an I two M's <laughs> immense okay now that I've uh, wasted time doing that give me a number to open up the gate I'll give you three chances I'm one of these weirdos so unlucky. So the numbers that open this lock are 3, 5, 7, and 9. Well, two dice and make sure that they add up to one of those. Seems like because of this technique, you rolled the dice 5 instead of 2. 6. Five. Okay, that was a lot more simple than the uh, other guy, in which I somehow missed the fact that his favorite number would be eight. <laughs> this RPG version of Fortune Tree is pretty interesting. <laughs> Seems like at least you learned how to use your big heart. Okay. I still don't understand how this game is improving kindness, but hey. All right. Yeah. Okay. See you guys tomorrow.